Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 8.20 in the morning. This is so sad. McDonald's. 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 Um, it's gotten to the point- let's talk about my sleep schedule for a second. It's gotten to the point where, um, I guess I'm sleeping at alright, I'm pr sleeping pretty early, like 8, 9? But then I wake up at like, what, between 1 and like 5 in the morning? So I'll be super lazy to get- uh, like make food because I haven't- I've been so busy concentrating on work that I don't have time for grocery shopping. Here I am vlogging when I could be grocery shopping. Basically, I just end up buying food. Uh, I end up ordering food like I showed you guys in my other vlogs. And lately, it's that's been it's been McDonald's. So so unhealthy for my body. The other day, I went to the hospital. I got my when you go to you know the clinic or whatever. They, of course, they take your height, weight, and your blood pressure. And I took my blood pressure, and I'm not. To be completely honest with you, like who who teaches you this shit? Like nobody, like you got two numbers for your blood pressure, but nobody ever tells you, unless you find out from someone else, nobody ever tells you what those numbers mean or what a good blood pressure is. So here I am, and it says like 158 over something, I give it to them. She's just like, um, why is it this high? I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Because the thing is, high blood pressure runs in my family, so low key, 25% of me was just like, uh, not that I'm not, that I wasn't worried, it was just like, I wasn't surprised, I wasn't surprised. The other nurse was like, um, how about you like, settle down for five minutes and then take it again, and then I took it again, it, was, it went back to normal numbers, so. The biggest scare of 2017! Today I'm gonna go see one of my Anhyeongs in Hongdae or Myeongdong, I believe. Either Hongdae or Myeongdong, and um, one of my viewers apparently, one of his friends is a viewer of mine, so that person's gonna tag along apparently, so I'm gonna go meet him and uh after that i'm gonna go see Yongguk and hannah i'm gonna go see her in bundang bundang where she lives um because apparently there's a really good i honestly i would not be vlogging if it's not for her because she's the one that's like bring your vlogging camera please do you see this this is my foundation color this is my natural skin tone people still want to come for me about my foundation color like this skin right here has not seen the light of day this skin up here though Y'all have got to be fucking kidding me. Here I was, minding my own fucking business. Like, as everyone should. I was just scrolling through Instagram. You know, trying to have a good time. But then this motherfucker decides to show up on screen. Bitch! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you- Seriously? Are you serious? Honestly, I'm so triggered. So it's been a few hours since I last- vlogged anything. Uh, I colored my hair a little bit. I put some purple dye in it to counteract the yellow that was in the hair, so it's a little bit more like white blonde. I'm gonna go my other friend. <laughs> I'm on my way now to Hongdae. Because I have to go meet my friend. I'm gonna be free. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be late, so uh, yeah, I will see you there. Oh, don't let this beautiful sunshine weather fool you. My balls have literally receded into my body because they can't handle the cold right now. So I just got here to Hongdae. Hi! Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Nikki. Nikki from Australia. Oh my god, I need to go there. No, you don't, it's boring. <laughs> or not, I guess I'm not going. Yes, ladies! Work! Yeah! Oh, 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 okay. This is Tyrone. Hi, Tyrone. He's crying. Isn't he, isn't he so cute? Are you talking shit? Coming in from Orange County, and uh, I honestly don't even know why he's in Korea. Why are you in Korea? So earlier we were outside. He's like, "What's your favorite skincare brand?" I was like, "Oh, try Aruke." And then I was like, "Oh, second to that is Cosrx." And then he's like, "You mean Cosrx?" I was like, "I guess." I was like, "Why? Why the hell is your why is he why is he correcting me?" But then we came in here and he gave me this present. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that sounds like y'all already know how I am with your gifts. I was like, where? Where did the. I've never seen this. <laughs> this bitch is an intern at Cosrx. <laughs> and here I am talking shit about <laughs> their pimple pack. No! I love how in Korea, the Jik Wonder will cook for you. If you try to cook, they're like, uh, especially if you go to a place where the Jik Wonder is a bunch of ajuma, and you like try to like move the. try to even stir it a little bit, they're like, no. Don't touch that shit. I'm just like, sorry. One time I accidentally like started eating before it was fully cooked, and she got really angry at me. <laughs> We're at this pizza place now, and we got, I guess, Thai, Thai style. 
Taiwan. Taiwan. Taiwanese style pink suit. Sorry. Uh, it's blueberry. Oh my god, when, when this came out, there's a little bit of like cream, like just a little bit like dripping out here. It's like, uh, can you go back and wipe that off? And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Lick it off with your tongue if you don't want. This is in Korea. We'll show you the Korean service. Korean service. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, like, where do, do I like get a mixture of all the. I don't know. Mmm. Oh. That's sweet. Yeah, it's, it's really tangy. It's like very blueberry. I love it. It's like blueberry candy. Hey, hey, let me take a picture. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? To be honest, these sorts of events make me very nervous. Nervous? Yes. For what? Why? I always feel like if I'm watching, if I just want to watch, they'll be like, hey, you, come oh, join. I'm just yeah, like, please don't. Pick a corner. Yeah. Can you stand out? Yeah. You know those things when you go to like maybe concerts mm. and they're like, they go into the crowd and they start picking people out. I'm like, please don't fucking pick me. All right, so I'm here in, not Pungyo, but like, it's a station past Pungyo, which is where the office is like Africa TV and Style Korean are. This is the station over, and this is where Hannah lives, the uh, global manager at Treasure Hunter. Girl. I thought it was gonna be some like country side shit. Girl. She's fancy as hell. All right, I see you. Okay. See that? Oh my god. Ooh, girl, I can live out my Sex in the City fantasies. Okay. I need to move here. This is some fancy shit. But it's like really well. No, it's not. It's kind of far from. It's on the same line as Gangnam Station, but. It just seems re it's really far. Like, there's a few stations, but it's like each station is like really far from each other. Oh my god, this does not feel like Seoul anymore. But I haven't even been here for 10 minutes, and already I, I know this is one of those fancy places when I see two girls that co come at me looking like Jesse from my pretty rap star. Oh my god. I'm here with Youngbook now. I look so horrible. You literally look the same as you do in like every video. Oh no, not today. Okay, we're at Helsinki. There's a cafe called. Oh, she wants to come. Can we go out? Oh, because she sent us the location for this place. I was like, oh shit, we're going to Helsinki. We're some fancy place. But she's like, no, that's just the landmark. We just want. I just want you guys to go there because that's the closest thing that you'll recognize. Like, okay. Oh, so we're not going to Helsinki. We're we're just meeting here. Yeah. Oh my god. Girl, Hannah ain't fucking around. That's luxury right there. That's glamour right there. You see that entrance? Oh my god, so damn extra. Oh my. This is literally your room is the size of my house. The fuck? Mm, Sam, look at your days, though. <laughs> I have to film a little thing for BBB, so that's all. Oh, great, my battery's dying. Fantastic. Oh, shit. We're here now having a little bit of dinner. What are you doing? Samgyeju. Samgyeju. Chicken and chicken, chicken, ginseng, um, porridge. They'd be like, let's get started. <laughs> First ingredient. Oh, she's going to explain for us. Oh, there you go. The more you know. Oh, sorry, my camera died. <laughs> I charged a little bit. Uh, I just got back home. Yeah, every time I fucking hang out with um, Jungkook, he's always- I'm always spending money around him. He's always like, suggesting all these products that- oh. Anyway, he showed me this app called Huahe. Right there. And oh, there's Google Pick, right? That, that's the other app that he suggested. But um, it's this app where you just type in any like skincare um, item that you want or makeup and um, it will list off for you all the ingredients the way that they're listed Oh my, please, please focus this. It will list all the ingredients the way that it's listed on the packaging The number on the side is showing you on a scale from like 1 to 9 9 being the worst 1 being like it's alright to 9 being like bad for your skin That's we're talking like fragrance or not necessarily bad I guess but it could cause irritation or uh, trigger those with acne This little symbol right here the 20 basically a symbol that you want to avoid on an ingredient so we're talking like maybe talc or pegs and of course it's totally fine if it's in there uh maybe if it's at the bottom of the list like around here but um over time that can damage your skin and um is what can cause like 
I guess, aging. Terrible explain. So if you want me to invite Young Wukohan to my channel to talk about it more, in more depth for you, then I can because I'm terrible at explaining. Because whenever I talk about shit like this, then I get the people, I get like the little scientists in the comments. Like, um, technically, um, it's not that bad for you because these, I'm just like, I don't fucking know. I'm just saying what he was saying to me and I'm probably not relaying the information properly to you, so. I bought some new base products. Um, Etude House came out with this new Precious Mineral BB Balm. It's like a cream type cushions where it's like a cream with like a some sort of skincare thing swirled into the middle. And then I also got... Oh my fucking god, did I? Oh! I bought this for Yongu, but I didn't even give it to him. Jesus Christ. I got this ink cushion patty peta. It's actually really affordable. It was on sale and it was like less than $10. So I'm going to test both of these out. I bought the... Uh, I bought some Petty Petta stuff, so they gave me this free bubbles. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I fucking love Powerpuff Girls. Also got some organic rosehip oil because according to Young Goku, it's like good for your skin. As an early birthday present, he was sweet enough to get me this this cleansing foam from Soom Girl. That's some Chong Dam Dong Ajima shit. And according to him, this has no none of those um, bad ingredients that are listed on there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so like low energy. I'm so freaking sleepy. Um, I'm gonna go to bed right now. I'm um, sorry it was a really boring vlog again. If I wake up, then I'll maybe I'll vlog a little bit more, but if I'm not, then I'll just say bye now. So...